your boy Blast from Sage D. I've been slumping. I think that's the wrong terminology, actually. I've been skimping, it's not much better, on my questionnaires that you guys have been wanting to ask me. I've selected these 10 questions I'm about to answer from my last Ask BHD uh, or my last Q&A or off of uh, the hashtag AskBHD on Twitter. Lego. Did you ever have hair? Believe it or not, I used to actually once have an afro. Full on. I had a pick in it at all times and everything. I lost my hair when I started dating this one girl. Uh, not that long ago. I think I was like 18 or so. Yeah. Weirdly enough, I lost all my hair when I started dating her. And that was my last, that was my first long-term relationship. Needless to say, that relationship was rough. So yeah, thanks ladies. How do I become a good gamer? With anything you wanna do in life, it takes practice. You wanna be good at playing Halo, you have to eat, sleep, and breathe playing Halo. If you wanna be good at making YouTube videos or editing or something, you gotta eat, sleep, shit, and breathe YouTube videos. It's all practice. Also, another big part of getting really good at something that a lot of people tend to overlook is loving to do it. Because all the hardship and all the bullshit that you run into, all of that stuff won't matter if you love it. Yo, it makes it so much easier to break through the hard points, you know? When did you start YouTube? I started YouTube maybe, I'd say what, two and a half years ago, I believe? Maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little bit shorter. I don't really remember. Maybe it's probably two years actually, two to two and a half years ago. How do I impress my friends? The best way to impress your friends is by having the mental strength to not try to impress your friends. People will be impressed by you being you regardless of what social norms are saying to be and regardless of what other people want you to be. That shows a lot of strength and character and people will admire you and be impressed by you for that. Never, ever, ever try to impress people because nine times out of six times, it doesn't work. All it does is just make you look needy, clingy. It basically puts you low on the totem pole and makes it look like they're all the way up there and then they will look down on you and treat you like shit. It's a good way to start getting bullied trying to impress people. You know, be comfortable in your skin. That shit impresses people. I'm a creepy bastard. Loud, weird shit saying, you know, perverted to my friends, all types of terrible shit type of guy. And people love me in real life. Makes no sense to me whatsoever. Makes no sense. It still baffles me to this day that people actually enjoy going places with me on purpose. How do I stay dedicated to YouTube? You've been doing this for two years and you've been going strong and you're good at getting your videos out. How do I stay dedicated? One, write down your daily schedule of what you want done and do and and just do it. Yo, look at the list and do what you gotta do. Have a list of what you gotta do for the day, every day of the day before. Also, make sure to be moving towards your goals that you are setting for yourself and to love it. If you do those two things, it will not be anywhere near as hard as everyone else is having trying to do what you're doing or YouTube in general. How do I get out of the friend zone? The best way I've ever seen to get out of the friend zone is to leave for at least four months, have no contact with the girl. Now, the trick to this is you can't tell her where you went, you can't tell her why you left, you can't say, oh, well, I left you because you didn't like me. No, okay? What you gotta do is you can't tell her none of that. She's like, oh, where have you been so long? Just be like, oh, I've, I've just been off kicking it. You know, I've been busy, my bad. I've been busy. You know, I mean, act like it's not really that big of a deal. You know, but have something else new about yourself, like some new clothes, something like that. The best way to get out of the friend zone is to make sure you never go there in the first place. And so the best way to do that is when you meet a girl, you know, make sure to, you know, you know, start like touching her. Not, you know, Michael Jackson type of touch. You know, like hugs and shit, you know what I mean? Like you have to get the girl comfortable with touching you, you know, being in your space, you know, before you guys can move on to other things, you know what I mean? Because other things consist of a lot of touching and if she's never to give you a high five or a hug or, 
You know, you guys like been real close to each other, you know, done some dumb shit and she's close to you and shit, then she's not gonna be comfortable with that either. And you're gonna be in a friend zone. What made you start YouTube? I used to watch a lot of YouTubers. I used to think like, oh my God, it'd be so cool to have following and to do comedy videos because I figured I was a pretty funny dude. I wanted to make a dent in the world. And I also wanted a career. I was stuck going to school. I was playing poker for a living. I did not like playing poker for a living. You know, and I didn't see school giving me any types of real tools to going out and having a real career, something I actually enjoyed doing. YouTube was something that, you know, I thought that I would really enjoy doing it. Luckily enough, I was I was right. I wanted to entertain people, I wanted to make people laugh, you know, I wanted to make my dent in the world, and I wanted a career, an actual freaking career. How do I make my skin black? Really, really hot cooking oil in a really, really big cooking pan. You know, just get in that, you preheat that to about 400 degrees or so, get in that, roll around in that for a good while, you'll probably die. Uh, you know, and uh, after a while, you'll be golden brown. Stay in there longer if you're trying to be uh, Wesley Snipes Black. How did you get your name? Interesting story, I got my name Blasphemous HD from playing World of Warcraft. I used to be a hunter, right? And I used to always use my gun when I was a hunter. So I figured blast, right? Since I had to shoot stuff with my gun. And I always said random weird dumb shit to make me and other people laugh, usually just me, because I'm not that funny. But, <laughs> edit that out. So I figured blast for me. Blast for me would be weird. So I figured blast for us. Since blasphemous was another word of, you know, blast for me, blast for me. HD just uh, kind of came on the end, you know what I mean? It stands for, you know, high quality, high definition. How do you take a conversation from friendly to kick it with the female? Good question. Now, <laughs> the best way to take a conversation from, oh, we're just friends, to, you know, okay, we're going on a date, the best way to do that is to make it as non-dately as possible. Say you're talking to a girl, you know, and you're having a good time with her. Right, she's got to be having a good time with you. She's got to like your personality. You got to be making her laugh a little bit. You do that, all right? After you have that already established, okay, she's established that you're not weird, creepy, clingy, none of that bullshit. Then your job is to get her on a date. Now, the best way to do this is by your enthusiasm of describing where you want to take her. Which one would you rather go on a date with? Someone who said, hey, come with me on a date to the skating rink. Or, me and a bunch of my homies, man, we're going to the skating rink, and this place is freaking awesome. All the skates they give you are slide skates. And so the injury, randomly during the night, they turn off the lights, and then they have all these disco lights flashing everywhere, and they start playing really awesome groove music, and everyone just starts doing 70s or 80s dancing while they're skating. So much freaking fun, man. I love that place. Actually, we're going there this Friday. You should roll with us. Because a lot of dudes think that you have to label it as a date in order for it to have the same positive outcome as a date. But actually, labeling it a date moves you steps backwards. Because number one, you're letting a girl know that you're attracted to her. Possibly before she's attracted enough to you to care about that shit right which is a freaking huge mistake two when a woman thinks date she thinks someplace where a guy is gonna take her and awkwardly try to hold her hand and you know scoot his arm around her it's gonna be awkward no one's gonna have anything to talk about it's gonna be bullshit you know and she's not gonna want to go on that shit but to make it seem like it's just a friend thing because regardless of if it's a date or not if you're having fun with her and she likes your personality, she's going to get attracted to you, right? It's going to be even better because to her, she's going to be like, I don't even know if this guy likes me. We're here. He said, come kick it. Is this a date? I don't think it is. Maybe it be like she gets that whole runaround and women love to chase. So that's basically half that shit right there, you know? So it's, re it's really advantageous not to tell a girl it's a date or if it's not a date or any of that bullshit. If she has a good time with you, she's gonna like you, and you're gonna be afforded all the same positives and opportunities to take it a step further with her, regardless of if you call it a date or not. The only difference is, if you call it a date, 
she's gonna have it in her head that it's awkward, gonna be creepy, and that it's a good chance that you're gonna try to do something with her, you know, and it's gonna be weird. This has been Ask BHD. Hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. If you did, make sure to leave your questions down below and it's a really good chance that you guys will make it into my next Ask BHD. I'm gonna try to do these on a weekly basis because you guys enjoy them so much. As always, the boy Blasphemous HD, Twisms.